Hello and welcome to another unique property brought to you by Mark Anthony Estate Agents. And we are proud to present this to market. It blends beautifully period character features along with newly high-end fitted kitchen of fixtures and fitting. All in the much loved and desired Dedham Vale area. Yeah, Dedham is a highly desirable area with a huge amount of reason for that, including things such as access to mainline station across at Manning Tree. You have the A12 pretty much on your doorstep, which takes you both London and Ipswich bound as well. Great schooling, fantastic tea rooms, great places to walk, and even good restaurants. Plus, you can get a boat down at the River Store and paddle all the way up to Flatford Mill. So it's a delightful place to be, very, very well situated. Perfect. It's dating back to the 17th century. It is a three bedroom, three reception room, semi-detached cottage. And as I say, it's packed full of character and quality. So there is plenty to tell you and show you. So without further ado, let's go and take a look around. Now you join me here in Anchor Cottage in one of the three reception rooms that this property has to offer. Uh, worth mentioning, we've just come through a really nice entrance porch which is really handy for youngsters, hanging up coats etc and also for dogs. Now worth mentioning here, I'm just under six foot tall and as you can see on the camera there's actually quite a bit of headspace which is pretty common throughout the property. There are some areas which are lower but again that's something that you can't expect on a period property here as well. Features, where do you begin? Well, exposed timbers on the ceilings, exposed wall beams, you've got some delightful cast iron style radiators, a more so squirrel log burner, which is beautifully done, which we can show you shortly as well, brick hearth, but it's got a nice warm feel to it and it's been beautifully decorated as well, which you'll begin to see as you go through the property. Light switches, electric sockets at Jim Lawrence, so there's been a real, real attention to detail throughout the property as well. So a beautiful room and one of three that I have here at this property. Okay, you join me now in the kitchen and dining area of the property. It's measuring over 17 foot in length, that's a maximum measurement. Now I know it may seem that we're going to be name dropping a lot throughout this video viewing, but we're doing that for a reason, just to show you the sheer quality um, that is within the property. Now Mark you've just seen has come through the main entrance porchway. It's got beautiful period tiles on the floor, but also the wallpaper is farrel and ball wallpaper and if you actually look them up you'll realize that they are a high-end specialist in paint and wallpaper anyway so the kitchen what have we got in the kitchen well first of all it's important to mention it's bespoke it's actually made by a company called Neptune kitchens and everything has been done for a reason so with that in mind you've got little storage areas for your chopping boards there and also for your trays down the bottom so they fit in there lovely we've got the Vilroy and Bock butler sink as well in set all topped off with solid oak worktops. We've got the five ring gas cooker here. That's to be negotiated, but that, obviously if you love it, which is why wouldn't you, that could stay. And then we've got the second half to the kitchen as well, which we'll show you in just a minute. We've obviously got the cast iron effect radiator. Again, we've got a engineered machined oak floor as well throughout the kitchen area which again is a beautiful touch. All of these, extend, these exposed beams as well, which really does show off the sheer quality and the period uh, character that the property has got. And then just to the right of the camera there, you've got a stable door, which takes you out onto the side garden and then onto the rest of the garden. But let's go and have a look at the other side of the kitchen. So the kitchen continues 
on this side. This is where you've got the main prep area and all the storage area as well. So again, still bespoke. We've got this worktop here, solid oak, and it's one big piece of solid oak. There's no joints in here at all. So it really is quite nice. All the joints as well are dovetailed and they're all soft closing also. So again, it's all these little things and features that you get within the actual design. We've got this little cupboard here, which is housing the recent boiler. I think it's about two or three years old. So again, attention to detail throughout. So here we are in the separate reception room. As I mentioned earlier, there are three reception rooms to the property, but this one can be closed off and it's actually just away from the kitchen diner that Andrew has just shown you earlier. It's a beautiful room actually, just sitting here, it's really quiet and it's quite a nice feel to the room as well. Again, you've got a huge amount of exposed wall timbers, ceiling timbers. As you can see here, you've got a very handsome exposed red brick fireplace, again, with a more so squirrel log burner inset. Perfect crackling away at Christmas time to give a real nice backdrop to a very, very pretty room. Just to my left hand side here, you've got uh, a, a door leading through to a staircase, one of two staircases that this property has to offer. Uh, more about that a little later. As far as this room is concerned, again, the attention to detail is there with the quality and the decoration at the fittings. So here we are, the third reception room now, I've shown you the other two. This one is the garden room, situated at the very back of the property. Uh, obviously the garden room because you've got fantastic views here, French doors opening up, overlooking a wonderfully landscaped garden and actually it's a really good sized garden as well. You've got your double garage which is bigger than normal with additional space at the very back end of the garden as well. A very pleasant outlook and it's also quite a private garden as well. But this room, delightful room again to breakfast at or to sit and enjoy the view. Engineered oak flooring and again the same theme with the light switches and with electric sockets as well. It's a beautiful place to be. Okay, you join me now in the master bedroom, bedroom one. It's a really decent size bedroom, bedroom 12 foot 8 by 11 foot 8. And the thing that hits you straight away as soon as you walk into it is how light and airy and bright it is owing to its dual aspect. So we've got window here overlooking the side, we've got window to the front, newly fitted double glazed sash windows. We've got plenty of storage as well. These are solid fitted wardrobes. We've also got this fantastic period cast iron fireplace as well, which I think you'll agree is a very nice touch. Obviously the exposed wall beams as well. But one thing to point out is that we've got two staircases in this property, as Mark has mentioned downstairs. One comes up, so you've got your own private staircase coming up to your master suite, and the other one comes up on the other side of the property to the second bedroom. Again, packed full of character, a really, really nice place. Here we are in the first floor bathroom at Anchor Cottage in Dedham. Don't forget, you've probably seen by now, but on the ground floor you've also got a separate shower room as well with a walk-in shower, beautifully finished. And again, as you probably understand now, the theme continues on the first floor as well. You've got here a double-ended ball and clawfoot roll-top bath, which has got a really nice shower feature attachment to it as well. Obviously, low-level WC. Of course, you've got a proper vanity unit here with a granite basin. But one of the nice features about this, apart from the feature radiator as well, is that if you look very closely, you can see the original signatures that they used to mark on each part of the work that they've done, uh, from the original carpenter. So there's a good bit of history in this property as well, and it's just a really great thing to have.
Okay, you join me now in bedroom two. So a really good, decent size bedroom, pretty similar to that of bedroom one. Here you have the exposed brick fireplace and the chimney that goes up, which is lovely. You've also got the exposed wall beams as well, again, adding that character. But this property is extremely flexible. It's an ideal family home. It could even be a holiday home for someone to come down and enjoy Dedham and the surrounding area of outstanding natural beauty. They're currently using it as a nursery, prime example of that too. Um, failing that, it could be split up into holiday lets as well, so extremely versatile. I love this property, it's got bags and bags of character and it really is finished to a very, very high standard. Okay, then stepping out off of the breakfast dining area at the back of the property, you immediately come out onto a shingled uh, dining area, outside dining area, with a lovely little water feature just off of it, surrounded by lots of mature shrub and flower borders as well, and lots of expo exposed brickwork as well, forming part of the path that winds right the way down to the bottom of the garden, where you'll find your off-road parking and also your all-important detached double-width garage. So, it's not a small garden to be fair, reasonably unoverlooked as well. Now just round the side here, you've got a pathway that goes round to a side gate access area, uh, which leads you out onto the front of the property, and then also as well you've got the double, uh, well, the stable door that takes you back into the kitchen area. So this really delightful and characteristic path winds its way through the garden, and then you've got your uh, little lawned areas as well on either side of it. You've got a brand new fence to the right hand side of the property that lines right the way from the start to the end of the plot. And then a lovely shepherd's hut, which actually at the moment the current vendors are using as an office. And what a perfect office to work out from at home, I'm sure you'll agree. So at the end here as well, you've got a lovely seating area, perfect for those summer evenings with the sun now capturing that side of the garden. All in all, it's a fantastic place and well warrants an internal inspection. So there you have it, Anchor Cottage, and I hope you've enjoyed watching our video viewing as we've enjoyed making it, because it really is a very special property. Dating back to the 17th century, upstairs we have three good sized bedrooms, plus a family bathroom with lots of character, exposed beams as well. Mark downstairs? Well, ground floor again, that quality continues throughout. We've got a very nice entrance porch, three reception rooms as well, each that you've seen with fantastic exposed timbers and beams, plus of course those log burners. Andrew has shown you the kitchen and it's a fantastically finished kitchen as well. Plus you've also got the ground floor shower room also. I love it, it's just jam-packed full of quality uh, as well as the character features also. So we've got some frontage to the uh, front of the property just off the road there. You've got access down the right hand side of the property to your really good size rear garden. You've got also at the end of that, you've got your driveway with your off-road parking and also your detached double width garage. Location Mark? Well, it's the heart of Constable Country here in Dedham. It is a delightful area. If you're unaware of the area, just put in Dedham into Google, see what comes up, but you'll find it to be a very, very delightful place. Great restaurants, great pubs, and a nice place to just relax from a hard day working in the city, or to just relax full stop. Absolutely, it's almost like um, an open plan sort of feel to the property, isn't it? Very nice and light 
and bright. It well warrants an internal inspection, so please pick up the phone and give us a call to book your viewing on 01206 588 440. Thank you ever so much for watching. Thanks for your time.